Welcome to our deep dive into the dark side of driving for Uber and Lyft. Today, we're uncovering the harsh realities faced by drivers, the misleading statements from CEOs, and the unjust practices that leave many struggling to make ends meet. Before we get started, share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Let's shed some light on this important issue. Uber and Lyft promise drivers substantial earnings. Uber claims drivers make $33 per hour, but the reality is far different. Most drivers earn below minimum wage after accounting for expenses like gas, maintenance, and time spent waiting for rides. Many drivers report earning less than $10 an hour after expenses. Lyft promises to pay drivers 70% of the fare after deducting external fees. However, these fees often leave drivers with a fraction of the earnings. The company could easily absorb these costs or share them more equitably, but instead, they maximize their profits at the expense of the drivers. Driver safety is another major issue. Uber and Lyft prohibit drivers from carrying any form of protection, leaving them vulnerable to attacks. When incidents do occur, drivers are often suspended or banned based on unverified allegations, with little to no investigation. Dash cam footage can exonerate drivers, but Uber and Lyft often ignore it or demand extensive, irrelevant footage, hoping to find something to use against the driver. This practice leaves drivers feeling helpless and unfairly punished. The fare offers drivers receive are often shockingly low. For long distances, drivers are sometimes offered amounts that barely cover gas, let alone time and wear on their vehicles. Meanwhile, Uber and Lyft boast record profits in the billions, yet refuse to share the wealth with the very drivers who enable their success. While CEOs dine at high-end restaurants and enjoy luxurious vacations, drivers struggle to pay their bills. This stark contrast highlights the exploitation and disregard for the driver's well-being. It's time for drivers to take a stand against these corrupt policies. Refuse low-paying rides and stop renting vehicles to support these companies. Renting a car to drive for Uber or Lyft means you're paying to work, an unsustainable practice. Share your wage theft stories and experiences in the comments. Let's unite to demand better treatment and fair wages. Companies should absorb service fees, not drivers. The exploitation must end. The drivers are the backbone of Uber and Lyft, and they deserve fair pay and respect. Together, we can make a difference. Stand up for your rights, and let's fight for a better future for all drivers.